Today we are going to do problem solving investigation lesson four with the strategy of draw a diagram. So let's look at number one. Anessa and a classmate have eight insects in a jar. Four eighths of the insects are beetles. One is a firefly and the rest are crickets. What fraction of the insects are crickets? So let's look at what we already know. There are eight insects. One is a firefly. So one firefly and four eighths are, so it tells us they're beetles. And the rest are crickets. And what do we need to find out? The fraction of insects that are, so it tells us right here that are crickets. Let's go down to our plan. So I will draw a diagram to solve the problem. So it shows us to draw a figure that is divided into eight equal parts. Shade four eighths of the figures for the beetles. So that's what this yellow is over here is for the beetles. Shade one part for the firefly and label it with an F. So what do we have left over? We've got one, two, three, four crickets. And our bottom is going to be our, the same. Our denominator is always going to be that total number. So that's eight. So three eighths of the insects are crickets. And let's check our answer. Does it make sense? So if we know from this top part that there are eight insects in the jar. So if we take eight minus the four, we know that are beetles, minus the one, that's fireflies we get three crickets. Okay. On to the next page. Six students brought their pets to school on pet day. Three of the pets were dogs and one six were cats. The rest of the pets were birds. What fraction of the pets were birds? So what facts do we know? Well, we know that three pets were dogs and one were cats. Also, we know that there were six pets in total. And what do we need to find? We need to find the number of birds. Just put that right there. And our plan, we're going to draw a diagram. And I've already drip, drawn in my diagram down here. So we know that there was one cat. That's what they tell us up here, one six for cat. So the cat. And then we have dog dog and dog. So how many birds does that leave us? So we've got this space and this space. So that means two, six are birds. And we can check our answer just like we did on the other one, but we'll do this one with addition. So one cat plus three dogs plus two birds equals six total. Okay, on to the next page. So now we're going to apply the strategy. We're going to solve each problem by drawing a diagram. Allie is playing jacks. She tosses eight jacks on the floor. She bounces the ball and picks up five jacks before the ball drops. What fraction of the jacks does Allie not pick up? So we know that our diagram needs to have eight spots because she tossed eight jacks. I'm going to draw a rectangle with eight spots, and she picked up five jacks. So I'm going to shade in one, two, three, four, five spaces. And we want to know how many did she not pick up? Well, 
we can see that there are one, two, three empty spaces. So three in our numerator and our denominator is gonna be the same as eight. Number two, of the four houses on the block, two are brick and one is wood. What fraction of the houses is neither wood nor brick? So we need to have a diagram with four pieces. Two are brick, so I'm gonna put a B for brick, and one was wood, so I'm gonna put a W, and I want to know what fraction of the houses is neither wood nor brick. So it wants to know what is this part right here? So we know our total number of pieces is four, and we have one spot left. So it's one fourth. Two of the three students in reading club wear glasses. Write the fraction in words to describe the set of students who wear glasses. So it tells us two out of three. So two over three is how we'd write it in numbers, but in words, we'd write two thirds. Just like that. Number four. There are six books. Three sixths of the books are willows. One belongs to Brian, and the other book belongs to Mrs. Peterson. How many books belong to Mrs. Peterson? So we're just going to draw a diagram like we did up there. And this one needs six pieces. Okay. So three sixths of the books are willows. So we're going to put a W. W and a W, and one belongs to Brian, so a B. The other books belong to Mrs. Peterson. So how many are left? Well, we've got one, two. So we can say two sixths of the books. So there are an equal number of student desks in classroom 3A and 3B. Joel washed one half of the desks in room 3A. Tyrell washed three fourths of the desks in room 3B. Which boy washed more desks? So we have to draw two diagrams for this one. And I want my boxes to be pretty much the same size because it tells us that there are the same amount of desks. And it tells us Joel washed one half. So we split this in half. And he washed this many. And Tyrell washed three fourths. So we have to split this into fourths and color in three of these. So which one of these has more space covered? It's going to be Tyrell. So we can say. Tyrell, because three fourths is greater than one half. And we'll get into this more in another lesson with comparing fractions. On to the next page. So we're going to write a fraction for the shaded part of each figure. How are the fractions for these divided circles alike? So. We've got four pieces, one, two, three, four, and two are colored in. So we're gonna put a two on top. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces with two colored in. We've got one, two pieces, and both are colored in. So we're gonna have two over two. And here we've got one, two, three, four pieces with two colored in. So that's going to be two over four. And what's the same about all of these? There's a two in the, in the numerator. Okay, number seven. Matthew downloaded six songs from the internet. One half of the songs were country songs. 
how many of the songs were not country songs. So it tells us that there were six songs. So we're gonna draw a diagram with six pieces and half of the songs were country songs. So half of six is three because we know three plus three equals six. So half are country songs, which means the other half are not country songs. So we say three songs. We're gonna skip number eight because this one's a little bit more complicated. We'd have to draw a pretty complicated diagram for this one. So we're gonna go on to number 10. So there are eight paintbrushes. One half of the paintbrushes are red and the rest of the paintbrushes are green. How many of the paintbrushes are green? So we're gonna do the same thing we just did, but this time with eight pieces. Let's draw eight and one half of our red. So one, two, three, four, because we know four plus four equals eight. And that leaves this other half our green. So four are green. Now on to the homework. So you'll have to do this on your own, but let's go through some of the examples. So look, this whole first page is just all an example. So we can go on to the last page. So Dalton ate six pieces of fruit on Monday. He ate two apples, one banana, one orange, and some apricots. What fraction of the fruit Dalton ate was apricots? So we have six pieces. So we need a box with six slices in it. Two were apples, one was a banana, one was an orange, and that leaves these two as apricots. So two over our total number of fruit, which is six. So you've got this, you've only got four more problems. So you've got this and good luck.